morning. Wow. The sunrise from our room is amazing. All right. I'm at here, here at the post office, and disaster has struck. Our bus leaves at 9.30 a.m. It's the last bus up to Tuami Meadows. And the post office normally opens at 9. We have our new pad here, but due to extreme employee shortage, it opens at 10. There is some conflicting information, whether that's just Monday the 21st or also every day. And I fear it's every day. So we will lose our money for the bus and be hitching. Should have checked the far out comments. They uh, reflected the new and reduced hours. But I think Google's still wrong. I'll have to check that. It's frustrating. For the first time in my life, I have suggested an edit to the hours on Google. And I submitted a photo as evidence. All right, we got our pad from Tennessee. And so we're throwing away our old pad. It came with a new repair kit, which is nice. And a new schnozzle pump bag. And at the end, it had three blown baffles, all of them expanding in size slowly. It had a small hole that connected the two sides of the pad, so you could not blow them up and keep maintained pressures independently. So if, if I deflated my side and Pamela was still laying there, her side would slowly deflate and fill my side. And the patch, which we patched in the desert I don't know, three, four months ago, <laughs> held the entire time. That one inch gash, amazing. All right, bye pad, you served us well. All right, this is the sign that welcomes you to Lee Vining. We are walking to some gas station where hopefully we'll be able to get a hitch. Did you explain the whole post office thing? Yeah. All right, yeah, since we couldn't take the bus, because of the post office thing. So as you know, hitching is one of both of our least favorite things, but it must be done. It is my absolute least favorite thing. Okay, it is Henry's absolute least favorite thing. I don't know what my absolute least favorite thing is. I have to think about that. Yosemite National Park, 11 miles. That's just to the gate it's much farther to Tuolumne which is where we need to go you know I actually don't know I think it's I think it's 15 miles I guess it's not much further but it's a long walk and it's a narrow road we wouldn't I don't think it would be very safe to walk on the road so we really need to get a ride all right we made it back to Parsons Memorial Lodge and did you say anything about the hitchhiking no the hitchhiking turned out to be incredible it took like one minute yeah that like six amazing. cars yeah. And uh, we saw a Subaru and we said, Subaru pulled over. It's always the Subarus. And it, it's also always the through hikers. Yeah, former PCT or class of 2018. He's 75 now, so. Yeah. He was like 70. When he, he had to rearrange his entire car uh, to accommodate us. It was so kind. He was, I don't even think he was going here. We tried to pay him. He's like, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, when he said, when he said, where are you trying to get to? He said, to Almy Meadows. He's like, I, yeah, I, I can take you there. Like, I can go there. <laughs> like, it was clear that that was, like, not where he was going. I think he's, like, on a, just in general, hiking around trip. Yeah, he's doing some hiking oh, and yeah. camping. Fishing. Fishing, yeah. Yeah, he has, like, a bunch of stuff in his car. He is really It was nice. amazing. One of my favorite hitches. What was it? I'm trying to remember his name. Pirate. 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 Thanks, Pirate. Look at this archway. It's amazing. Wonder what it's gonna be like inside. <laughs> All right, so uh, Henry was just in the Pearson's Lodge and I was just going to look in for a minute before he left and turns out they let you paint your own postcard in there and they mail it to you a month later after they have it on display. So I did that really quick. It's not my best work because it was a little rushed, but I'm going to do a quick video and there. It's just kind of quiet, so 
I'm going to explain this first. It's a little library and then they hang them all up. They're so beautiful. I really like that one. It's really nice. And then, ooh, this one's mine. Just a little PCT guy. Uh, like I said, it's it's not gonna win any awards, but it was fun. And yeah, these are all books on Yosemite, which is pretty cool. Henry's looking at some of them. And now we're gonna go. This informational sign has informed us that cute little creature Pamela loved yesterday is a building ground squirrel. Look at this. Who so knew? Well, I just could not resist the bridge island bridge combination. First, I dipped in there, went under, very refreshing, and then. I climbed in there, paddled down the current, went all around, hit some other current, another pool, and climbed up. It's amazing. This is paradise. According to Gaia US Forest Service maps and Half Miles Tracks, this is where we finally join with the JMT to go south. There's other times we'll split, but this, I believe, is the first time we've joined. I'm sure Pamela will do a little bit of this. She's just a little up ahead while I was swimming. But just met a very lovely, very kind ranger. He uh, checked her permits, signed them off. And uh, I, I was trying to, she thanked us for having the correct permits. She kind of mentioned all the flipping and flopping. And uh, she, was, she was a little worried that a lot of people aren't going to have the right permits. And I kind of, was wondering, I asked, kind of asked what was going to be the consequence for that. And she hedged and said, well, you know, situation dependent, but, uh, hopefully, hopefully everyone will, will do the right thing. And so didn't really get a lot of information about what exactly is going to happen. But, uh, yeah, she, she was very appreciative. I don't know if I said this. She said we were the first people she had uh, checked the permits for uh, PCT Sobo, I presume. Anyway, yeah. First permit check so far this year. All right, back there is our first bear. Pamela pointed out a, a fawn. There. there is brown cinnamon. Can I zoom in? It's already two times zoomed. It's going to be grainy, but I want to see it. Okay, I'm going to go back to two. Okay. Uh, yeah, Pam pointed out a fawn leaping across. It was so cute, and it made Henry. <laughs> and I looked up, and I looked over, and I saw something big. I was like, oh, that's a bear. It's our first bear. Wow. The ranger said it's a bear that hangs out around here a lot and that he doesn't, she's like, he won't hurt you or anything, but, you know, just be aware. And apparently they've had a lot of issues with bears getting into food last year and it hasn't been a big deal this year, so they're trying to keep it that way. All right, well, we both have our bear cans. Yep. Put all the correct stuff in them. Yep. Wow. Cool bear. It's a big bear. The bear keeps, like, pausing and looking back at us and then he walks forward and then he'll pause and look back and walk forward. That's really cool. Wow, just crossed this thing and it would have been easy to ford but I just didn't want to be wet and take the socks off and put them back on. Da, 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 da. It took forever and I almost fell in multiple times, but it didn't. It's exciting. So we're walking up this valley here and we're almost at the end of it. And there's somewhere up there is Donner pa or Donahue Pass where we'll be 
going tomorrow. Looks like quite the avalanche area here. All the dead trees have been cleared though. It's nice. 